What's up Colossus community? Today we're going to be answering the question from a subscriber, how do I break through my diet plateau? We've been asked this so many times, so I'm going to give you three quick tangible ways to break through a diet plateau. Now without wasting any time, let's jump right into it. Number one is going to be carb refeed. So if you don't know what a carb refeed is, essentially if you're really sapped and tired in your diet, your body is going to kind of adapt to this stage. So it's going to kind of suppress your hormones, suppress your energy, suppress your like little movements, you know, dancing, singing in the car. And basically by cutting back on those factors in your TDE, which is your total daily energy expenditure, it's basically therefore lowering your maintenance calories. So it makes it higher to diet. The reason the body does this is because it's intelligent. It doesn't want you to starve yourself to death. So it's really good at this adjusting progress. However, this inefficiency is horrible for actually trying to get shredded. So to break that, you can trick it with this carb refeed. So usually a carb refeed will exist in a 24 to 48 hour window. The 48 hour windows have been shown to be a lot more effective than the 24. And essentially what you're doing is eating a high surplus of um, carbohydrates while eating a relative amount of protein to your normal diet and a very low amount of fat. The reason for this is we want to maximize the carbs, which will help us kind of really jack up our hormones, get a ton of glycogen in the body and kind of start that restoration process to trick the body for usually it's known to be about three to five days into continuing these effects at um, increased levels. So it's really, really cool and effective and it's definitely worth trying out. Now the thing with it, carb refeeds can be very technical and it isn't an exact science. So there isn't an exact amount of carbs you necessarily need to eat to be successful. It'd be very different for everyone. So I have some clients that, you know, I give them two X um, carbs, I have some that I give three and I have some that I give six and there is no sense so I have girls that do it on higher carb levels than guys. The body's very interesting and everyone's unique and different. Um, so it can get technical, but it's an amazing tool, definitely worth looking into. And now it's a present to everyone here. I know it's a little complicated, everything I just said, and you're probably like, what the heck is this guy saying? First thing in the description down below, I have a blog on how to implement this, a little more info about it, so definitely check that out if you're confused. And we know a lot of this can be very confusing, especially when you're doing it by yourself. You become emotionally attached, and if you don't see the scale drop, you'll decrease 200 carbs. I've seen it all. Josh and myself have helped hundreds of people over the years. I'd highly recommend joining our coaching program. The first three people to hit that second link in the description and sign up for our coaching service will get an even decreased rate, and we look forward to helping you out. We're coaches that actually care, so jump on that. That's a huge bargain. Oh, it's amazing. I don't, I don't know why people aren't doing it right now. Go hit us up. Number two, this one is fairly simple. You can just increase your expenditure. There's a couple ways to do this. Number one would just be increase the amount of volume that you're lifting in the gym. You could do a couple more sets, a couple more reps. You could go for a little bit longer, but you need to be careful because you really don't want to overtrain. And another thing is this isn't an excuse to eat a ton more. A lot of times people will start to move more and then they'll eat more and then they don't lose weight. And number two, just it's simply move more outside of the gym. You can do a little bit more cardio, 20 to 30 minutes extra per day. You could go for walks. You could park further, you can walk up the stairs, anything like that, as long as you're increasing your expenditure, you'll be set. Okay, so number three, this is relatively new science, but I've been utilizing this in my coaching like crazy, and it just has phenomenal results. It's kind of a one step backwards, two steps forward approach, similar to the carb repeat, but these are diet breaks. I'm gonna let Kyle jump into the science of this real quick, check this out. So this is a very interesting study, it's the Matador study, and basically, as you can see here, uh, there were 51 men that were obese, that were tested for 16 weeks of dieting. Um, there was one group that basically did it for continuous 16 weeks, and another group that did an eight-week block of, um, of dieting with uh, seven two-week blocks of energy balance, which is basically just bringing your calories back up to maintenance. Um, and by the end of it, the study was um, produced some pretty interesting results. As you can see here, the weight loss was actually greater for the people who did the dieting break and overall, one of the biggest things that I found, so this is obviously very, very interesting. As you can see here, this is a proven study. Um, but when I come to this article uh, that was obviously produced, um, there's a bit more information here. Uh, those that were in the intermittent diet group not only lost more weight, but they also gained less weight after the trial finished. So this is something that we're all about uh, in order to see true results long term. It's got to be definitely sustainable. And this is pretty interesting that new science is coming out and showing that this is definitely a way to you know uh, get to the to, to the level of dieting and to the weight loss that you want to achieve without just simply starving yourself so it's something to think about and try out yourself so these are great and obviously knowing your maintenance to raise to is relative your maintenance once you're deeper in a deficit and maybe four to eight weeks in your diet is going to be very different from when you started so you do have to adjust for that and account for that and you don't want to just jack up calories be ridiculous and now a big thing I like to hit on is this isn't time for you to go crazy break all your good habits 
habits, just eat all the junk you want. You know, this is a time to nourish up, feel good, really push that intensity in the gym, restore everything, you know, let all the hormones, everything come into pace, get great sleep, and then jump back in that diet to have phenomenal results. Thank you so much for watching. Use these three tools. Definitely, definitely, definitely though, if you're someone who's actually dead serious about getting amazing results, getting the best shape of your life for a very affordable price, take advantage of that second link in the description down below. We'll see you in the next episode. Peace.